Uh, so in this um, course uh, lesson, we are going to work on adding the forms, uh, form fields that we need. All right, so if I uh, go into posts, so we have all this list here, I'm going to start with a, a reg db reset. That's uh, something I spotted in the in what we've done, a bug. So do that, uh, reset your database, and go and shut down your real server. I restart it again. All right, so once this has started, we have a new set of da data. If I come over here and reset, we can see we have an undefined method. So um, being called on a nil class. So the problem is coming from here. When we reset our DB, we don't have any record for settings. Yet we're saying find the first setting and call a method on that. So setting.first returns a problem. So to deal with that, we're going to say try and change this to symbols and and now when settings of first is called it will not return a new class anymore it will return an object and then try can be uh, can fail uh, you know without any errors okay so that that's what that's what I wanted to spot and um, what I spotted I wanted us to quickly fix all right so now we've done that I'm going to uh, go into our settings and we can give our site uh, a name so Kingsley Drummer and everything is good. All right, so that's that's what we've done there. Okay, so now to proceed with the actual uh, planned course for this lesson, uh, creating a form here, uh, we are going to go to our Sublime and go to the show. And um, before that, go into our show method in the controller, create a new instance variable called visitor comment so in visitor comment i'm going to create a, a visitor object and i'm going to add inside the visitor objects uh, comments and an array and comment dot new so i'm doing this because um, i need to create a form that sends or submits its data to two different uh, models okay to visitor and to comments so over here, I'm going to create a new form. So form four, and then paste Vista comments. And when we click on submit, I want this data to be sent not to post controller, but to comments controller, which we haven't yet created. And we are going to do that in a second. All right, so I'm just going to come here and end. All right, so now we have this all set up. Let's go ahead and generate our comments controller. So if I go back into our terminal, I'll come over here, I'll clear this. Rails generate controller comments. And this is going to have a method called create. All right, so we have our comments uh, controller. So let's do command P and root and just clean things out. So I'm going to create resources for this. And this is going to be uh, comments. And we only have uh, create. OK, so delete this. All right, so let's save this. And uh, that's done. So also, we want to delete any view methods that we don't need. So we have create here, we don't need the create view. So just delete that. Okay, so we've done this, we've saved this. Let's uh, go to the view and refresh the screen, make sure there are no error messages and no error messages, it's all good. All right, so let's start with um, adding some uh, form labels and fields. So we'll say f.label and full name for visitor. And then I have text field as full name. Okay, and then we'll copy this, uh, paste it down here. We have emails, so we have full name and email for visitor. All right, so if we refresh the screen, we have full name and email. So now we want to have uh, fields for comments. So this is where we do something slightly different. So we say, uh, field f dot uh, fields for so this is for a different uh, model 
fields for comments and then we say do we use c instead for c for comments and we end our form like that so this form fields uh, this comments here corresponds with the comments that we've created here we've nested in visitor so we're creating form fields for comments within visitor so in here we can go ahead and uh, create a reference to this message field so I'm going to say uh, C instead of F so C for comment dot label uh, is going to be message okay and we do the same uh, for the uh, text area so C dot text area uh, would be message all right so once we've done that uh, we can go back into the view uh, refresh the screen and we should have a message message there all right, so now finally we just need a submit button so come over here so f dot submit and we want to call this uh, add comment all right so if i save this uh, come over here refresh we have add comment button done so this is uh, our form fields uh, that we have so go into comments model uh, not quite we need the controller so come over here double click on comments controller so when we submit our form this is where it's going to come it's going to come to create so we're going to be saving two things we're saving visitor and we're saving comments all in the same form um, form field uh, form four so this is uh a bit of we've learned a few things here how to create uh, a form that submits to two different models by nesting like that so if we come into our specification we have done this is done and also down here vista account update post and can delete post that's correct so we just get that as done so in the next lesson we are going to work on comments ability to fill in uh, the fields and some other things that we need to do so that's where we're um, going to end and i'll see you in the next lesson